Hey there, A-Bird, Freedom Fam, and the Tactical Universe. Today, I'm joined with this Walther PDP Compact, not the Pro, equipped with a Hollow Sun 507 CX2, and we know she's clear. So, today's video actually was brought about by a customer asking me about something I had done in a previous video. So, I went ahead and expanded on it just a little bit, and instead of focusing on the handgun that was in the video, I focused on what I was doing in the video. This firearm does not belong to me. It is a customer's that is on consignment, so it is not a very familiar firearm to me. I am acquainted with it, but I took it out, and I did some training using some methods that I saw in some of DJ Shipley's videos from GBRS Group, where I actually taped off the optic which also wipes out the rear sight, and I use the center of the back plate, imaginary, which gives me center of bore axis, and I shot a couple five round drills. And the premise behind this is to show that knowledge is everywhere, but if you don't use it, it's nowhere. So you can watch a thousand YouTube videos, but if you don't get out and try different ways of doing things, isn't that a beauty? Sorry. Let's, let's put this aside. If you don't get out there and you don't try what you're seeing, then you're not really getting the full grasp of learning. Hey, enough of that shit. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Let's go ahead and grow the Aper Freedom Support family or community. Um, we'll get together, hopefully have a range day, maybe do some training together, swap some information. But now, enough of a fat guy in a chair. Let's go to the range. Good morning, A Bird Freedom Fam. So we're out here in the range this morning with this Walther PDP Compact with Hollow Sun 407C. The reason we're out here today is I had a customer yesterday asking me about a drill that I had seen DJ Shipley use in one of his videos with GBRS Group. And I had the customer ask me, well, you didn't use a pistol with an optic. And I said, okay, that's fine. I still used the sights and then went to the back plate. And he said, is there a difference if you use an optic over the sights? Personally, for me, I don't think so. I do think it's a great natural point of aim drill. And um, so today, we're going to go ahead and shoot it using the Hollow Sun 407C instead of using the iron sights on the CZP-10C, one of my favorite pistols of all time. So not screwing around. Let's get this going. So here's that first five rounds. Go ahead and use the optic. Um, did drop that last one. It's no big deal. And now's a perfect time to say that ammunition today is provided by a local ammo manufacturer. Not a reloader, but a manufacturer, Ridgepoint Armory here in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. As well as the target was provided by Crate Tactical. CrateTactical.com is the source where I get my out the front knives, as well as I'll be bringing in steel targets chest rigs and other technical accessories so here we are for part two now this time what I'll be using is the back plate of the pistol and an imaginary dot the imaginary dot will be somewhat close to center of bore axis as you see the hollow sun is taped off which also blocks out the rear sight there's no physical way to see the front sight so we're gonna go ahead and shoot five more rounds we taped up the original five holes and this is just going to give us an idea of our natural point of aim. Okay, so obviously we got one in the bottom corner of the A box. Everything else is outside of it. But in a man-sized target, those five rounds would have put somebody on the ground. So, I know my natural point of aim with this handgun is low. My first shot group was also low using the optic. 